if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on Fris hello assalamu alaikum starting with the topic of autopsy this is lecture number 21 and for the last few lectures i am discussing exhumation bismillahir rahmanir rahim so continuing with the topic of exhumation in this lecture the learning objective will be that we we'll learn what are the prerequisites of the exhumation and what are precautions in exhumation which are to be taken. So continue with the topic. What are the prerequisite for exhumation? All the necessary arrangements for the procedure are made by the police. That after the authority letter has been issued and the orders for the exhumation has been passed, the area police is informed and they make the necessary arrangement for the procedure. So after passing the order of the exhumation, the graveyard is kept under guard by the police till the exhumation. A temporary mortuary is set near the grave by the police for which a tarpaulin screen is created alongside the grave and a wooden table along with all the necessary equipments are provided at the spot. There should be good illumination and ventilation and usually morning time is chosen for this purpose. And this is how the three sides of the grave are covered with the turpentine screens and this is one side is kept open for the ventilation the screen on the three side is fixed and one side is left open and the wind direction is kept in mind for the ventilation so that the foul smell foul smelling gases should be blown out. That is, the side which is kept open should be in the direction of the wind so that from that open side, the foul smelling gases can emit out. This is the screens which are being put around the grave. After the digging, the body or coffin will be exhumed. The identification of the grave and the body is the responsibility of the police. Police provide the witnesses who are usually the next of kin or the relatives of the deceased. They identify the grave and after exhumation, the identification is by the identifiers. The grave is dug out, the body is recovered, and then it is handed over to the examining doctor or the board of doctors, if it is second autopsy. Because if it is first autopsy, only one doctor which is deputed to conduct autopsy. And if it is a second autopsy, review autopsy, then the board of doctors will conduct it. Now about the precautions which are to be kept in mind. 
the adequate light and ventilation is necessary. The examination of the body should be carried out in the brightest, brightest part of the day. So usually the exhumation procedure starts in the morning time so that they would be completed well in time. The ventilation should be thorough and windward so that the put effective gases should be flown out, flown away. After the body is dug out, it should be left open for some time so that the put effective gases are dissipated. The antiseptic solutions are sprinkled around the grave, around the body, not on the body. The worker should wear complete protective clothes and coverings like cap, mask, long rubber shoes, gloves, and goggles to protect themselves. If any cut or wound occurs, it should be immediately treated by thoroughly washing with water and strong antiseptic solution. The grave is dug up carefully to avoid damage to the coffin and to the body. So the summary of today's lecture is that we have discussed the prerequisite for the exhumation. We have learned that the, all the arrangements after passing the order have to be made by the police a temporary mortuary is established and we have learned the precautions that the three side screen is applied, one side is kept open for the emission of the foul smell gases. The digging should be very careful to avoid damage. We have discussed and learned all the precautions. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz. I will continue the topic in the next lecture of exhumation. Thank you.